Alex Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My name is Dan. My name is Mike. Dan, what? Ooh, small can. What are we drinking? <laughs> I like it. Small can and a small glass. Uh, Mike, Beautiful. we are entering the world of Baltimore, Maryland. Mm -hmm. And uh, they got a brewery down there called Duclaw. So it's uh, Duclaw Brewing sense. Company, and this is their sweet baby Java. Ooh, that's Maryland. It's an espresso bean Duclaw. infused chocolate peanut butter. Order. Well, that sounds what? delightful. Um, yeah, Duclaw. So, out of Baltimore, Maryland. And um, so, what do they say about this? It's our medal winning, and it's a Great American Beer Festival. Okay. Uh, winning robust chocolate peanut butter porter infused with whole bean espresso to add new depth and complexity to our sweet babies. Mm. Uh, pop the top, take a sip, and you'll wonder, where has this been all my life? <laughs> See, they say bean. Oh, I get it. Dude. It's, it's a joke. Uh, can on date, blue dot. Uh, but there there's is a, there's a weird there is I date right. So there. I want to say it's three one two four. That's what I'm I was gonna show you. Yeah, it's like right there under the label. I'll probably zoom in, post edit. Probably not. Um, it's yeah. weird with the edits sometimes. Uh, first to claw, for me that I can yeah, remember. Yeah, I know. The, but the name sounds familiar, right? Like uh, you've either seen it. Picked or... this up at AJ's. I think it was like I don't know, probably like four or five bucks for the can or something okay. like that. Okay. Could be wrong. Well, it's metal winning. Yeah. Uh, so he's in these sweet Rochester Real Beer Expo <laughs> yeah. 2024 VIP glasses. And as we do glasses, that, glasses. we're going to show you the beverage. We're going to show you the beer. Uh, huh? it, it's super dark. There, there's slivers of uh, mahogany red down there. Nice little, hmm. little tan khaki yeah, not, on Not it. quite like completely just... Opaque. You know, yeah, pretty, no. Like but you, it, it like looks the, great, though. Look at the head. Though. I mean, the glassware alone that is just, just it's fantastic. It's kind of creamy, kind of frothy, kind of smooth. Smooth. Duclaw! Oh. Hey, now. Uh, so I will say, while you're sniffing that, it says porter with natural flavors. Okay. So take that with what you will. That is... Uh, 100% wheat bread, peanut butter, chocolate, peanut butter. We have very little chocolate yet, but man, it's all peanut butter toast. It smells like a deep fried oh, Reese's. Yeah, it's, it smells fantastic. Little little uh, dryness, um, that maybe like a maybe like a coffee dryness. So usually with the peanut butter, you usually get either peanut or not enough peanut. It's peanut butter. Yeah, yeah. It, that's like that's like smell all natural. This is Jiffy. <laughs> it's Jiffy. Peter Pan. Skippy. Uh, Peter Pan's. A, I don't know. It's a different level. Peter Pan was in like a class of its own. Still is. Yeah, I, I, I get Pan forever. Really? Yeah. We got a six pound bucket of it. My uh, thing. <laughs> it's in a pal. <laughs> it is. It's like it. It, it looks like the old uh, Planters Cheese It Ball container. <laughs> oh, okay. But it's a six pound thing. Oh, Planters. It's just. It's just easier. It, it's cheaper. Way cheaper to buy it in that size. Well, sure. I mean, it lasts for so long. I it mean. does. It does. It smells great. <laughs> Let's dive in. <laughs> Cheers. Four minutes in. Take the fucking sip. Did I even say the ABV? I don't remember. 6.2. That's a great ABV. It is. Mm. And it's a porter, so Bumpy should get mad. Hashtag stout snob. I've yet to see a, a stout that Bumpy like thoroughly has enjoyed in recent memory. <laughs> <laughs> I just he reviewed, he reviewed a bunch of stouts. I was just like leaving comments. It's like Stout Snob is back. It should make a That's playlist. That's awesome. Bumpy, make a playlist. Stout Snob. I like that. Um, ooh. very roasty and prevalent up front with the kind of bittering malts. Um, robust. Very robust. Uh, that espresso just, whew. So on the, on this nose, <clears throat> I didn't even mention coffee because I wasn't getting it. I was getting like that chocolate and peanut butter. Mm -hmm. But, whoo. I'll tell you what, because I, I got a little coffee on the nose, but man, it just shows up in full force on the palate. The chocolate, I... I to me, at least, the chocolate is takes a little bit of a backseat to the peanut butter, but it's still blended and swirled very nicely. Like, I think this is the proper glassware. I feel like, you know, you've got it. You can see the swirls in there. You know, it's 
the it's, official well, glassware of the FLX. Thanks, Will Cleveland. You're the man. I think this glassware is super proper, and the beer is its robust, but it's decadent at the same time. Uh, nothing is really, you know, each flavor is getting its turn. Um, I don't know. This is delicious. It is. Uh, I will say... I'm doing this like weird Rain Man thing. I don't know what's going on. Uh, carbonation. I I knew you were gonna say because I was gonna say, what do you think of the carbonation level? I'd like it to be smoother. I I like I think the carbonation is a little too much. It's, it's, it's more soda much. pop carbonation. Mm. I th I think I want a little lighter. Um, six point two porter. I think the body's very appropriate. Mm -hmm. You're uh, on the on the underside of medium, not quite thin, uh, but not quite full on medium. Mm -hmm. Uh, mouthfeel, like like he said, it's it's kind of it dances around with the carbonation, and then I'd almost prefer this to be like a nitro, to be honest. I I agree with you. I think that would help too. I love if you took the carbonation away, you could tell me this is a cold brew like Starbucks or something. Sure, a peanut butter chocolate espresso. Something. Yeah, I think a nitro version of this would be fantastic. I love the twelve ounce can. I think that's a yeah. perfect amount of this beer. Without overwhelming your, your palate. So this would really, like, if you're slamming some, like, cinnamon rolls or some shit, oh, this would be good. Yeah. Absolutely. This, this is a good beer. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give it a, I'll give it a solid four. Okay. I think this is, it's real good. Yeah, I'd, um, I'm going to give it a, probably a three eight. I'd okay. be at a four if, I, I yeah, I'm, I guess uh, no. Plus carbonation would just. I don't know. Am I slamming it. it based on my personal preference of being smooth? Because you could argue that this is very much a traditional porter kind of mm -hmm. body and mouthfeel, and with the carbonation. Because a lot of times you would kind of bitch about it being undercarbed, right? <laughs> We're never satisfied. I don't know. Whatever. Duclaw, we flying high. <laughs> um, yeah, this is good. I, you know what? They they have a whole sweet baby or whatever. Uh, like a series, right? Yeah, a series. I might p pick up another can. Of uh, I would give it absolutely. A go. Um, yeah. Uh, until next time, hit us up. Uh, link tree down below. You can find us everywhere. And uh, yeah, yeah. Go get well, what do you guys? What do you guys think about Duclos? Get yourself a porter. It. I mean, yeah, not enough porters out not there. Not enough porters. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.